Well, hello, everybody. It is How to Think or Swim time. Joe with you here. Let's get into the monitor tab. I'm going to go through the tabs individually. The monitor one is where we're going to start because there are just a couple things I'd like to point out for the community. So let's jump directly into it. Maverick Trading is always looking for new technologies and cutting edge software. In over 25 years, we've found many different successful strategies. However, they all are dependent on a good software system. Since our traders trade firm capital, we want to make sure they have their best foot forward. Thinkorswim is one of the best options pricing tools out there and a favorite amongst the Maverick community. As a community, we like to share our findings with each other and the public. If joining a community is something that you'd be interested in and being a professional trader, come check us out. Let's get into the tutorial. Jumping into it, we are going to focus on the monitor tab today. Let's break down some of the things that we can get from this. First off, and the most obvious, is your positions, and they're down here. Sometimes this window might be closed. Just make sure you open it. Uh, here's all your positions, no matter what you're trading, no matter what the instrument is, whether it's stocks, currencies, or options. First thing I'm going to pull off is I do like this expand and drop down all panels. This way you can uh, put this down. You can see what kind of uh, position you have on it, whether you have options that expire or uh, your stock. Uh, how many contracts, all that stuff, it's kind of neat. You can also close it to create more room. Here's a question I get a lot. This is why I'm on my demo account is right here, adjust account. People say, hey, Joe, how do I add money to my account or take it away or you know, rebalance things or start over? Uh, well, this is exactly what you want to do. You just go ahead and switch the balance there, hit apply, and it'll change your total. Real quick, also, uh, things that can happen if you do have multiple accounts, you can switch them up here. This is uh, across the all board when it comes to all the tabs uh, that you'll be on. But it's right here. You can switch between all accounts. This will combine your accounts. This is, You can switch. I've got an IRA up here or just a basic margin account. This one is a, a common question to get as well. So up here, you'll notice that we have working orders, filled orders, and canceled orders. Well, at first... When you first read this, it makes total sense, but when you start to mess around and play some trades, cancel a trade, you're wondering if one filled, then it actually makes a difference. Working orders is something that you have submitted that is out there trying to get filled or has a limit or some sort of criteria to it that has yet to trigger, but it is active. A filled order is where a transaction has occurred, meaning shares were exchanged with money or contracts, uh, things like that, whatever you're trading. Canceled orders is something that you physically hit cancel on or timed out. If you had a day order that uh, the end of the day rolls over and this is the next morning, you'll go here and you'll see this was canceled and it'll explain where the, why the order was canceled uh, right on this line. So those are three very helpful things and probably where I spend the majority of my time uh, when I'm actively trading. Let's go to our sub -tab, tab number one under the monitor tab. This is account statement. This is also a great place if you're looking for a trade or a ticker symbol that you've been trading that you want to find some information on. So let's briefly go over what, uh, what's available to us and what I use this primarily for. So cash and sweep is just that. It's going to show you your trades, deposits, withdrawals, transfers, dividends, anything that has changed the balance of your overall account. And this will be for the day. You also have a Forex that's separated. Order history. This is actually a cool one. So all those orders we canceled, all the orders that were traded or completed, uh, all, uh, all, everything that we got from the activity and positions will be here in your order history, what you've been doing over the last, I'm going to say, one day. Now, since I'm already talking about this, let's go here. This is just going to go one day back from today. However, when I pull this down, I can switch it to a default of 7 to 30 days. And I, or I could select this button here and uh, pick specific dates up to a max of 370 days back. Now, if you need to go further back than that, you need to log into TD Ameritrade and, and request that. You can also go to specific symbols. So if you want to look for a, a specific ticker symbol, how, how, I, how have I been trading Apple over the last, oh, I don't know, year? You could type that in here and it'll, it'll pull up the ticker symbols information. Now, trade history is going to be like order history, but trades. These were transacted. This is in and out, cash in, positions out, uh, all those things uh, will be separated from your order history, which is great because this one will directly affect what? Our cash and sweep vehicle up here. 
Now, what do I use this for? Basically, those two things. I like to see the trade history. It's a great place for me to just see what traded. Let's say I've got three or four or five trades out there. I want to come back and see what's traded. I could do this for my activity and positions, but sometimes the account statement going to trades history uh, will tell you, oh, yeah, three or four or five days ago, if I was to jump this back to seven days, then it would show me all of those transactions over the last seven days. That's primarily merely, uh, what I use it for. FX reports is going to be very similar to your account statement. It's just going to be specific to Forex. And then you have the strategy roller. Now, what's cool about this strategy roller is it, if you have a position that is attached to another option, specific, just like a diagonal spread or a covered call or a protective put, anything that's kind of married together, it will pop up here and you can actually change it. Now, also, it is available in activities and positions overall. It would be in here, but if you wanted to find it specifically, it's right here in Rolling Strategies. All right, guys, that's it for the Monitor tab. I think next time we're going to jump down on our next tab, maybe the Trade tab, and we'll go from there. But you guys, I appreciate you jo joining me, and uh, have a good one. We'll talk to you next time. Bye, folks.